And so talk about the the crime rising in Illinois. And then there is the new Safety Act. We'll play a tape piece of tape in a second there. Um, I mean, it is widespread crime, widespread uh, looting and really sick things happening. Talk about that and what you will do as governor. So year to date in Chicago, over 1,300 carjackings, over 600 murders every two hours and 21 minutes, someone is being shot. Every 11 hours and 54 minutes, uh, someone is being murdered. Uh, There's a 1,700 vacancy for for people in the Chicago uh, Police Department. They're walking away. They're leaving. So here's the deal. Chicago has no cash bail. And with their uh, state's attorney, Kim Fox, well, she doesn't prosecute crime. And and the reality, when people understand that, well, then they begin to understand what the reality is going to be for the rest of the state of Illinois come January 1st, when four to 5,000 violent criminals will be released from jail, uh, when, when people who commit crimes just simply will not be prosecuted. It is going to become a land of lawlessness. And all of this is propagated, supported by J.B. Pritzker, who signed this into law, a 700 page document that even at this very moment, he and the people that crafted this behind the closed locked doors, uh, they don't even understand what it says. But 100 out of our 102 states attorneys across the state, they know what it says. They've stood up and pushed back against it, a third of them being Democrats, a half of those filing suit against J.B. Pritzker. And for the first time in Illinois history, a a governor candidate in the general race has the 100 percent backing and endorsement of law enforcement. And that is me because they know what the Safety Act says. And it will completely destroy this state if it is enacted. Let's play cut one.